Talk on the FM dial. Also online at theticketfm.com. On the internet. KNTK FM Firth. 93.7 The Ticket. For over 15 years, Integrated Life Choices has empowered individuals with disabilities in Lincoln and throughout Nebraska. They provide comprehensive services from group homes and independent living services to job training, ensuring fulfilling lives for those that they serve. Now, they're inviting you to join their mission. If you are passionate about making a difference in the lives of people with developmental disabilities, explore rewarding career opportunities with them. Learn more about their services and apply today at www.ilc.net. Be a part of Integrated Life Choices, where your work truly changes lives. The Omaha Supernovas are back in action this Thursday, March 28th, versus the Grand Rapids Rise at CHI Health Center in Omaha. The Mullen Motors pregame show with Derek Pearson and Renee Saunders starts at 6 p.m. with first serve at 7. Make sure to tune in to the next Ag Appraisal Realty postgame show right after the match ends. Catch all the action on your flagship station, 93.7 The Ticket, and statewide on the Supernovas Radio Network. 93.7 The Ticket, Fox KFXL Weather. Brought to you by Bryant Air Conditioning, Heating, Electrical, and Plumbing. The length of forecast for today, there's a chance we could see a few flurries. Otherwise, we'll see probably sunny skies and a high around 46. Tonight, mainly clear skies with a low around 28. And tomorrow, we'll see more sunshine, a little while with warmer temperatures. And the afternoon high expected around 64. I'm meteorologist Kyle Butcher for 93.7 The Ticket and theticketfm.com. This is the happy hour. You guys know the happy hour? Coming at you live from the heart of Lincoln, America. Yeah, maybe I'll go for a couple. Here are your hosts, Nick Sainert. I am a huge guy. And Enrique Alvarez Cleary. C is for chunk. <laughs> Brought to you by Empire Fence and Netting on 937 the ticket and the ticketfm.com. <laughs> Welcome in. Happy uh, Wednesday. <laughs> this is the happy hour. 93.7 The Ticket, theticketfm.com. As you can hear, Nick Sainertz, Rico, and Jay. Hey, Jay. Wow, don't sound so excited. How are you doing? I'm doing good just afternoon. fine. Good afternoon. It is a good afternoon. <laughs> How How's it going, Rico? Hello. Um, Jay. How's how's life treating you, man? Oh, it's all right. It's great. It's all right. All right. Well, 402-464-5685, the Honda Lincoln Hotline, and the Starter Hammond text line are open Dang, for you guys. you low in the chair, ain't you? Look at you. Oh, there, Rico got you. Yeah, back. Rico's face. That's what I was laughing at. Is It just showed the top of my head, uh, receding hairline on each side. So, anyway. You got a big old forehead. Um, I see, Jay, Jay, you guys were so excited to start talking at the start of the show, and then I ask you some questions, and you guys don't talk. What are you talking, well, what we are you were talking about? Quiet about? We're just all quiet. I said my day is going great because here's why the people don't really respond to your questions, Nick. You want to know why? Since are we in the circle of truth? You, were, you really want to know what, why? Because yes. the feeling when you ask those questions is not very genuine. You really don't care about our feelings. You, really you only you care really about don't. Nick. You make me sound so bad. It is. You, you, really, really, you really only care about Nick. That's and and ever yeah. since 2024, and we know what happened, where you went, you've been brand new. And we have not had, we've been busy. We had state basketball, yep. March Madness, yep. some other things that popped up. You, you, you know, your swag level, you know, you got a fan base of you that's starting to grow. That's not true. The big, yes, it the is. Big swimming, that's not true. The big swimming pool. Yeah. It's that's big. not it's true. Getting, it's large. It's 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 so that's why that, so that's why me and Rico I'm, really don't because you really you, don't right. care. I do care. No, I you do not. I, if I didn't care, I wouldn't ask you. You only ask that question because it you, seems nice, and you want to look good on the stream. Yeah. That's not it. it at makes, all. It makes you sound like a nice person. You don't, don't care. You don't care how you much really it was. It's cool. Let's you just guys, get right to you it. You guys make make me out to be such a bad person. But it's more than it's not just us. Four zero two four six four five six eight five. It's just not. No, us. we're does, not doing this. Does Nick actually care about our? Day? I do. I I genuinely do. Do you think Big Swim actually cares about how me and Jay are doing today? I do. I do care. Um, and if you guys can't accept that that I do care, then that's your that's your guys' issue. See it in your eyes. 
Well, that's too bad. Uh, 402-464-5685. Eric says, LOL, this is the type of show I'm here for. And Eric is on our side. Eric, mm-hmm. what side Eric's, are you on? Eric's been against me since the day I got here. Well, I'm sure he's had a couple interactions oh, with you as well. <laughs> is that right? Met yeah, you out, that is right. Met you out in public. Okay, yeah. Well, You just blew him off. No, he came but, up no, to you that said, hey, Nick, I, I enjoyed listening to you. That is not true. You looked him up and down and said, who are you? How about that? How about this? Big Bird says, Nick is not a bad person. Just does uh, bad things. Nick cares. About Nick. Except That's for nice. maybe Rico. Except for maybe Rico. See? See, Nick doesn't care. But I care. The, the, the point of that text was that I care about the majority of people. Nick's like T.O. He loves him some him. Yep. Get it's your not, popcorn ready. That is not true. Get your popcorn um, ready. All right, guys. Let's dive in. Uh, sit-ups in your, in your driveway. <laughs> no. Troy Dannon announced mm-hmm. as uh, officially introduced as Nebraska's athletic director yesterday. And I, I was I was <laughs> there. <laughs> I was there for it. Um, and it, it was, I mean, we kind of limped to the, the part where Troy Dannon got interrupt, you know, got introduced. Um, so nonetheless, you had Troy Dannon kind of I- introduced in a roundabout way, um, after not only the interim president, Chris Kaborik spoke, but after the, the chairman of the region spoke and then also governor Pillen spoke. Um, so finally we got to Troy Dannon and if there was one thing that stuck out to me, guys, he is very intentional about the we are only going to do stuff if it means and if it's going to help us win. And he and he was he was up he was up front about that. He was like, "Listen, we're going to commit to to the NIL because it's going to help us win. If if the stadium renovation helps us win, then great. We're going to do the stadium renovation." He doesn't want to do anything unless it's going to help the program win. Yeah, I mean that's the I mean that's the right attitude to have especially with with, with any program right yeah. your athletic director you're directing athletics um and obviously the football program is obviously the the biggest deal around here so i mean i like that approach i think that's you know probably along the lines of where trev's uh, approach was and um and, and it's great that he has it as well so that you know he's going to put his you know leadership stamp mm-hmm. on it and, and do it in his time frame or not do it on his time frame and you know every decision he's going to make um, from what he says is going to be for the betterment of the program and then the betterment of the football uh, team. And then that won't change when he's thinking about anything else. It's just how you're wired. Now, granted, he, he's brought in here because, you know, you're going to direct the athletic department. Football program is, is well, we're in spring ball, number one. Yeah. Then number two, it's, you know, the, the biggest deal going on right now. So um, the good thing for him um I think as far as NIL goes and being able to raise money, I think that, you know, we were in the forefront of it, you know, back when I think when Frost was here, I think we've done some different things. Mm-hmm. I think we're, we've, we're going to expand it and have done it. I think we've recruited well. So what I'm saying is, is that he's able to come in and make decisions where it's not, okay, going to really hinder the program. Mm-hmm. He can make this. It's an easier, I would say it's easy. I'm not going to say his job's easy because he's got a lot of stuff he's got to deal with that yeah. he didn't have to talk about yesterday that it's easier to do it because Nebraska is in a lot of ways already turnkey. You just got the big red project over there, a the huge, you know, that's a selling point. Um, you had a lot of those people there. I'm sure that helped donate. And then um, NIL and try to have a partnership with 1890 before everybody assumes it might go in house is a, is a great way to, you know, move, it, move forward as well. It was strange because with, with the, uh, one of the comments that Troy Dannon made yesterday was that he's like, I'm going to wear as much 1890 gear as I do Husker gear. Um, and he was, he was very out front and open about that. I, I would, I would categorize it maybe as a forward thinker, right? Troy Dannon, um, with that and, and maybe being on some committees benefits him in that, in that situation of being able to kind of have an idea of what the landscape of collegiate athletics is going to look like in the, in the near future. Um, I think it's interesting right now. Also, the the NIL world is is fascinating because don't forget the NCAA ha- currently has this injunction where basically there's there's no rules and regulations in, on NIL. If anything happens currently in this yeah, in, in yeah, this but, current time, yeah. that they they're not opening up par- investigations on you. And so it's not to say that you can just go out and it's a free world, you free reign, do anything you want. But in a way, it's pretty close. It's pretty close. It's pretty close. But people see, I think uh, you know, I'll, I'll push back on a lot of people on, on this with NIL and, and it's short sighted. I, we I like it that he's forward thinking and you want him 
1890 is the one that does I think they do all of our they do you know, every sport yeah. right which is interesting because yeah. I will say there's other universities that have multiple collectives sure Nebraska essentially just has one obviously there's okay, little pockets yeah right that's, where right. you have like pipeline jerky and you have other yeah. things going on where and obviously businesses but a true collective that's recognized by the university 1890s right that one. so yeah so that's good and I like it that you know you're forward thinking and that's going to help grow the brand just because you have the leader athlete of athletics if you know whatever time wearing it right and it mm-hmm. might be strategic when he's doing it um obviously at fundraising events and all that it, it should only it, it's only going to help it's not going to hinder nil money raise it you know at all but also think that you know nebraskans and and you know you got some people in the media think like okay well you're just going to go raise up all this money and you're just going to go get like all of it this is not blue chips mm-hmm Everybody that's doing well, they got good on NIL. So I think the biggest thing is you, you got to make sure that you're very prudent with it and, you, and you're getting a return on your investment because you want you look, you want to make sure you get players that are that not only want to be here for the initial NIL. That's kind of like your I call it your I'll call it your interest fee. Mm-hmm. I want players that are going to outperform whatever their metrics or contract is. I'd rather have a player. Say, okay, this is what you give me right now. But listen, when I hit, you know, I know it can't be pay for play, but let's be honest, it's pay for play. Yes, and okay. I, I hate that it's turned into that because I, 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 I like the, I like what it was supposed, supposed to, be, to be, but it, and it, everything was, that it right. was going to be where you, you go to a university and you, you show out, you represent, yeah. and then, then businesses and people say, I like what this person stands for. I like, you know, this person can promote my product. Let's get this person to come and do event signing or autograph signings, come to an event, wear our gear, eat at our restaurant and promote it. I like that idea. But what NIL's turned into is, although it's not supposed to be, it's kind of turned into a pay for play. It is making it a professional environment. In a lot of places. And I think Nebraska does a good job. I think they, a, a, a couple of times, I think Matt Davis was on. Thought about trying to help them like learn the business part of it, and that's mm-hmm. and that's what I think Nebraska needs to do those things because you know you want that to kind of roll st- lock and step with your life skills and the, you know in our um, you know academics and stuff like that. But I think the biggest thing we need to do is just make sure that you get guys that are coming for because at NIL, if you're a good enough player to get approached with some NIL, that that that's going to be standard, right? Now I'm sure there's going to be mm-hmm. you know you, you don't want to run into a situation. You don't want a kid that's just going to go chase the money, go all the way to Florida, show show there, and then they're like, "Oops, I was just joking about that NIL deal." Then he's got to move all the way back across the nation to Arizona State. So you want to make sure guys want to be here for the right reasons because those guys will outperform and then, ideally, be rightfully compensated for them to their performance and yeah. representation. Because mm-hmm. part of your representation, if it's whatever product or company, is what you do on the field. Yeah, I was going to say. That's your big, that's your best NIL. Yeah, exactly. You know, sometimes you get guys that go to NIL, get NIL, and then it's like you get NIL and you just chill. Like you think you made it, you made it to the big leagues, mm-hmm. and now you just, now you put it in neutral. Like you want guys to put it in first, second, third, and then hammer it down to fifth gear to really, you know, provide some punch. Because ultimately, when you start winning games, you start playing, you win games, obviously you perform better, you win games. No, but NIL and all that stuff and raising that will be a foregone conclusion. Exactly. Which, which to bring it back to Nebraska uh, specifically, I, I think you, you look like Nebraska men's basketball, what this NCAA tournament appearance, right? It probably could have been better if they could have won a game, but if it, the appearance, right, you lock down Fred Hoiberg for a uh, quite a bit of money, right? Make him one of the yeah, higher paid 11. coaches. Yeah. One of the higher paid coaches in the country. Now uh, when it's all going to be said and done, but, you hope that, okay, now a, a larger portion of the funding can, or NIL donations may go to Husker men's basketball to allow them to not as, as many times as, as Troy Dannon said anything. He probably said recruiting and retention more than any other thing that he mentioned yesterday um, more. And so re- recruiting and retention. So now Nebraska basketball, the, the retention piece of it is, is getting guys to, uh, to, to want to stay here. Right when when it is nil maybe based at the at the root of it all. I, I just saw a Virginia Tech men's basketball player right that he entered the portal and his tweet that announced him entering the portal said with a strong consideration to return to Virginia Tech. And I sat there and I felt like I I, I read that as 
man, so you're you're opening up the door that guys you you are willing to come back. But you for also the right price. for the right price. Yeah, yeah. That, that's, that's saying is, it without saying exactly. Just and I'm like, man, saying. that is and that is that is college athletics right now in a nutshell. Right. And they and the NCAA, if there ever is a true NCAA, um, has to step in and have some sort of regulation on it, whether it's a cap, bring it in house, their employees, something that needs to change because it, it's twofold. You know, me and DP go back and forth with this all the time on old school, like. The coaches do it all the time. We just seen an administration or an athletic director do it mm-hmm. all the time, and it's and it's and it's part of the business. And this is business. The problem with these kids that operate like that. Now, granted, I mean, if he's getting pennies on the dollar and if he's a good player, if he's not getting anything, anything, anything yeah. rightfully so. Mm-hmm. Then actually, you know what? That's on Virginia Tech because uh, you know your engineering school. I know you have some pretty good um, alumni can that can help out with that. But when you're going around and you're short-sighted like that, that's what you, that's what you want to try to get away from. And if you want to talk about retention, for as many young players on our football team last year that showed flashes, right? For mm-hmm. not just a play, you know, Nebraska, and we've seen it the year before where Ernest Houseman played well, gone, gone. like ghost in the night, right? And, and granted, that was probably mm-hmm. more tied to the head coach, and that's his choice, and he's doing great. But Nebraska has been able to. Re- retain a lot of their younger core um you know and so that's good that they're that lets me know they're providing more than a check that means the the communication between the coaching staff and whatever support whatever it is support mm-hmm. staff the whole thing is in is 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 good because a lot of times guys get in the portal is because their expectations are way too high based on what they yeah. hear. They're hearing things and not listening to what the coaches are saying. It's obviously that they've obviously have players down there that are listening to it. And the way that you get players to listen to it, you're backing it up with actions, whether it's disciplining them, holding them accountable or lifting them up or providing them opportunities to be the player that they say they want to be. So, you know, athletic director, you know, uh, Troy, uh, you know, um, Troy Dannon is, is, you know, going to do whatever he needs to do and he's got a big job i mean he's got some oh, stuff he's probably got to so, yeah. tackle and that's not the sexy part about the job but that's what you you know get brought here for it was interesting i, I mean and I, I think one last thing about the transfer portal and i know this from from having conversations with assistants more so than just like head coaches this is not just at nebraska like players leave when they're unhappy players leave, leave when, when, they're, when, when they're happy it, that's that's what it is nowadays, and I, I think that's that's so in, not not foreign, but just kind of like surprising because it's like if you leave a place when you're happy, why leave? Why why move yeah. on? I right? mean, if you're if you're like the uh, Addison that left Pittsburgh, yep. right, mm-hmm. where they essentially supposedly he had somewhere you know his whole NIL deal for that year was like three million. It, it's you, uh, I get it, and you're going to USC. But those players aren't aren't just on every single program. That, that's what I'm saying. Yep. So that's why you have to make sure that you have the expectation, con- expectation, yeah. and constant. Yeah. And then a lot of these guys go out there and they think it's going to go to, you know, leave here, and they're going to sh- get on the plane. I would say you show what the bag is that you got. Everybody say get yeah. your bags right. So if you got holes in your bag, them holes ain't going to get fixed by the time you get there. Yeah, you know it's going to start leaking out of them holes is the money that you think you, you, you're you making, and then now you're going to be stuck on stupid, and then you're going to get in that gray area where yeah. you're in the portal, but nobody's calling you. Which there, not a fun there's place a lot to of be. It, seem, it seems like a lot of players get stuck in that gray area and get stuck in the portal. where You, you, maybe... know, what, you know what we should do? You know how they had that fake high school on Netflix or whatever? Yes. Yeah. You, yeah. Know what we need you, know, you know what we need to do? We need to start uh, Foreman Sainter, Alvarez University, just for people just stuck in the portal. FSA. We'll just, we'll just do Portal University. The FSA. Yeah. FSAU. FSAU. Yeah. There you that's go. That's what you have. We should have a Portal University. No, we should not. I think we should. I don't want to get. I don't want to get like, put I on like, Netflix. I feel like this is a good idea. If we cared about each other, we would say no. That's probably not the best idea. I think you can make an all American. I had a better team. business idea that I could explain to you guys earlier. It's I a good business Ricky. idea. It was. Is that right? <laughs> yeah. We got to tell you. We'll tell you. Yeah, we'll tell you later. There you go. All right. Uh, appreciate Jay for hanging out with us. Good stuff there. Uh, Troy. Troy Dan was was interesting yesterday for sure. We'll we'll continue to break that down 
throughout the coming days and on various shows. But now we it's time for us to get to break because if you have not heard the news, the Professional Volleyball Federation announced earlier today that guess what? The final four. I don't know if they're tagging at the final four, but the the final four, basically the semifinals and the final, the championship will be held in Omaha. Well, who better to talk about it than the Omaha Supernovas president, Diane Mendenhall. We'll talk to Diane when we return right here on the happy hour. Huge thanks to Empire Fence and Ending for their support. As always, we talk Supernovas volleyball with Diane Mendenhall, the Supernovas president, when we return on 93.7 The Ticket. Follow Nick and Enrique on Twitter at Nick underscore Sainert and at Radio Rico AC. More of happy hour is next on 93.7 The Ticket and theticketfm.com. Wall-to-wall wine and spirits is now open in Lincoln. Shop our expansive collection of wine, beer, spirits, and cigars at 5040 North 27th Street. From top shelf liquor to crowd favorite beer, Wall-to-wall wine and spirits has a beverage for every taste and every budget. Plus, join our loyalty program to earn rewards and save on future purchases. Shop Wall-to-wall wine and spirits at 5040 North 27th Street in Lincoln. That's 5040 North 27th Street. In every office, there's two types of people. There are those who bring in bagels and those who eat the bagels that someone else brought in. Everybody likes the first person. Be that first person. Weekday mornings at 7.30, you have a chance to win a business box of bagels from Bagels and Joe. All you have to do is shut up Sipple. Two questions for you, two for Sip. Win and the bagels are yours. Lose, well, you don't want to lose. You lost Monday, you lost Wednesday, you're a loser. Shut up Sipple. Weekday mornings at 7.30, brought to you by Bagels and Joe. Okay, it's time to sell the house. How do we even begin to choose from the hundreds of realtors in town? Easy, we make a pros list. You mean a pros and cons list? No, just a pros list. We need someone with pro photography to showcase the house in the best possible way, pro marketing to make sure we get maximum exposure, pro negotiations so we know we get the best price. This is one of those times where you already know the right answer, isn't it? You know it is. Ben Bleicher and Professional Realty Group. Contact Ben Bleicher and the team at Professional Realty Group of Berkshire Hathaway's Home Services Ambassador online at prg-ne.com. Southeast Community College invites you to check out our spaces ahead of your official campus visit. Our virtual campus tours let you see our campuses and learn more about our programs of study. Then you can schedule your individual visit in person or virtually. Virtual tours of our campuses in Beatrice, Lincoln, or Milford and our learning centers are online at southeast.edu slash visit SCC. SCC, your path to possible. Ooh, what a day. I could sure use an afternoon pick-me-up. Hold up, the new 93.7 The Ticket location has a milk coffee and tea inside? Oh yeah, this is a game changer. Need an afternoon pick-me-up? How about a coffee or smoothie on your way to work? Stop by the Ticket Mill location on 1040 O Street to get your go-to drink or try out our new game day drinks exclusive to the Ticket Mill location. We know it'll make your day a mill yen times better. The Omaha Supernovas are back in action this Thursday, March 28th, versus the Grand Rapids Rise at CHI Health Center in Omaha. The Mullen Motors pregame show with Derek Pearson and Renee Saunders starts at 6 p.m. with first serve at 7. Make sure to tune in to the next Ag Appraisal Realty postgame show right after the match ends. Catch all the action on your flagship station, 93.7 The Ticket, and statewide on the Supernovas radio network. For over 15 years, Integrated Life Choices has empowered individuals with disabilities in Lincoln and throughout Nebraska. They provide comprehensive services from group homes and independent living services to job training, ensuring fulfilling lives for those that they serve. Now, they're inviting you to join their mission. If you are passionate about making a difference in the lives of people with developmental disabilities, explore rewarding career opportunities with them. Learn more about their services and apply today at www.ilc.net. Be a part of Integrated Life Choices, where your work truly changes lives. Hey there, fellas. It's your girl, Jordan, with Sarder Heyman Jewelry. Women may be complicated, but I make sure buying jewelry isn't. Your gal has a style, and you can figure this out. Is she more of a classic necklace kind of gal, or does she rock the boho chic vibe with layers of delicate bracelets? This is crucial intel. Not trusting your intel? Stop in the store and we'll sort out the details. I promise to make this super easy. Until next time, this is Jordan at Sarder Heyman Jewelry. Happy shopping, guys. Not many businesses can say they've made it 60 years, but Madsen's Bowling and Billiards can. 
With 12 bowling lanes and the biggest pool room in Nebraska, where else would you go to enjoy an afternoon or evening? There's a great daily specials like $2 Tuesdays, games of bowling, shoe rentals, draft beers, and tacos, all just $2 each. Have a delicious burger at EJ's Lounge before or after your bowling or pool session, and you'll leave satisfied. Madsen's Bowling and Billiards at 47th and Dudley. Action Plumbing, Heating, Air, and Electric is the call I make when I have a need for plumbing services. Whether it's for my home or office, if I need a repair to a water heater, softener, or even my garbage disposal, I know I can count on Action to help. In one simple call, their amazing customer service team promptly schedules a service call, often getting to my needs within a day. Action delivers honest quality services we can count on. To learn more, visit actionlincoln.com. This is Brad with Midwest Bank, proudly serving our Nebraska communities for over 70 years. We're a community bank, making local decisions, supporting local organizations, and helping local businesses and farms succeed. We are dedicated to serving our clients and helping to meet their financial needs with sound, innovative banking solutions. From an array of checking and deposit accounts, cash management services, to small business, real estate, and ag lending, we're here for you. Your community, your bank, Midwest Bank. Find out more at MidwestBank.com. Member FDIC. You're listening to The Happy Hour with Nick Sainert and Enrique alvarez Clary. This isn't the real Caesars Palace, is it? What do you mean? Did, um, did Caesar live here? Um, no. I don't think so. On 93.7 The Ticket and theticketfm.com. Welcome back into the happy hour, 93.7 The Ticket, theticketfm.com. Nick Sainert and Rico, appreciate Jay hanging out for the first segment there, talking a little transfer portal NIL stuff as uh, Troy Dannon made that very uh, a very popular topic yesterday, I think, uh, in his introductory press conference. Um, speaking of introductions, we, we've gotten kind of, used and 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 we're we're familiar now with the Omaha Supernovas as they are a very big deal in in the state of Nebraska now in the volleyball world as it was announced earlier today from the Professional Volleyball Federation that the semifinals and finals will be held at the CHI Health Center in Omaha and nobody better to talk to about it and about the news about the season about the organization than with Omaha Supernovas president Diane Mendenhall as she joins us on the Allo VIP line. Diane, appreciate you joining with uh, uh, joining us today. It's been a pretty exciting couple of weeks as we're 12 games in, but now the the the, the season just got more exciting today. It definitely puts it over the top as far as excitement today. You know, the, the season has delivered beyond our wildest expectations, and now to have the opportunity to host the inaugural championship is, is, is a huge, huge win for us the city of Omaha and the state of Nebraska. Now, Diane, you, you mentioned about exceeding expectations. The The play on the floor has been really, really fun to watch. Um, and obviously the Supernovas getting ready for, for two matches in the next three days, one on Thursday and one on Saturday, both at home. But the play on the floor has been great, and we can talk about that. But let's talk about the reaction and the response from from people that aren't playing or coaching. The fans have been great. The, the attendance has been awesome. And people are, are continuously talking about professional volleyball. There's going to be additional teams in the coming years. We saw salaries get increased. This thing is really taking off in just a very short amount of time. It really has. You know, I, re- I reflect back to um, Volleyball Day in Nebraska last August mm-hmm. and the tidal wave that, that followed that and our introduction really to the state of Nebraska at that event and then going out to the state fair and we had questions like, who are the supernovas? Mm-hmm. And it's gone from that in, in basically what, six months to this, to this huge, um, this, this swell of energy and enthusiasm, enthusiasm around the team. It's people have really embraced the team and, and our hope was that they would fall in love with the team. I think that happened faster than we could even have, have expected. Diane, first off, uh, I miss seeing you. I feel like we spent so much time together, you, me, DP, and the rest of the team, and then we've gone like a week and a half without seeing each other, and I'm very sad about that. Um, but Ditto. <laughs> we've been to so many different locations. We've been to uh, just about every other team's uh, home arena 
what makes Omaha so different than the other arenas that the Pro Volleyball Federation decided that the final two games of the season uh, will be will take place in the CHI Health Center? Well, first off, you just have to give a huge shout out to our, our partners at the CHI Health Center. You know, they know how to do big time athletics, big time events and do it in first class. And that's what everyone from around the league has seen. And the nation knew based on what they've done with NCAA volleyball and even just this past weekend with the NCAA basketball, they're the best of the best at putting on a show. And then you go number one to those corporate sponsors and all the sponsors and the people that have supported us everything from the medical community here to to the businesses it's just been this outpouring of support of people wanting to help lift us, us up in so many different ways and i just have story after story after story from small businesses to big corporations um have, have just been wonderful and then it goes to the fans and nobody does it better than the fans in nebraska they love volleyball they understand volleyball and they appreciate volleyball and you know being from Nebraska, you expect us to, you know, have a, have a have a nice fan base. But what was built on top of that is just incredible. And just having all those young people and retirees and every demographic, every social economic class in their cheering on the supernovas is what separates us, I think, from any place in the country and maybe the world. And Diane, if you can talk about it, what went into the decision between the Supernovas, between every other team, and the Pro Volleyball Federation for this this the, the final two games to be held in Omaha? Like, what what was what was the decision making process like uh, in in finally coming to that? Well, you know, I if I could be um, you know fly on the wall in the league offices, I'd probably know a little bit more about that. But you know, we had to we had to submit uh, RFP. And put that in, and we actually received the RFP when we were down in Orlando. And you know how our travels went coming back from Orlando when we eventually got back. But turn that around in just a couple of days. And our team, once again, too, a congratulations to our internal team. And you know, from from Jacob and Nick and Jeff and all our from social media to the fan experience to ticketing to throwing together an amazing request for the proposal that we delivered to the league. 17 page proposal within three days. And then, you know, that went up against the rest of the teams in the league. And once again, with everything that I just mentioned, all the surrounding support that we have and the experience that Omaha, Omaha has in hosting NCAA final fours. I mean, they've hosted five who can compete with that. So the infrastructure is all there and we can, we can plug and play pretty quickly. We're speaking to Omaha Supernovas President Diane Mendenhall with us on the Aloe VIP line. VIP line brought to you by Aloe Fiber, where they understand the importance of exceptional service with a local heart. Now, Diane, you talk about infrastructure, and, and I want to speak to the CHI Health Center real quickly for a moment, because when when this was all announced and it was announced that you uh, guys were going to be playing, all right, in the CHI Health Center, that's a pretty daunting goal, right? Like, that's a that's a big area. That's the biggest venue off the top of my head in Nebraska, it seats a little over 18,000. That's indoor venue, I should say. I should specify with that. And I think maybe on the out from the outside, the people that might not know as much, they said, well, they, they might not fill it. They might not be able to get enough fans continuously in that arena. And here we are, and, and the Supernovas are doing it time and time again. It's, it's double, di you know, over 10,000, over 12,000, over 11,000 consistently from your perspective, that and I know we've had you on the show a couple of times, but from your perspective as somebody that's seen this grow and, and growing, what just goes through your mind night in and night out when you see 12,000 fans, 12, you know, 11,000 fans on a Thursday, on a Wednesday? What goes through your mind when you see it actually come to fruition? Well, first off, it goes through my heart where it's, it's pretty emotional Mm -hmm. When you think about this, you know, as a little girl growing up in Nebraska, you never fathomed something like this would exist for women to compete at the professional level. And then to have it here and just to have the people show up and show out every single time. You know, I go back to that March 16th match where, you know, we surpassed 12,000 setting another record. And um, I have a great video from that. And it was at a timeout and the fans are, of course, singing Sweet, Sweet Caroline. Mm -hmm. And it was just unbelievable to just look around 
and and feel the energy and the excitement. I actually sent it to my sister who's in California, the video, and her response was, wow, listen to all those young voices. And it's interesting, too, that it, it's a little different in our arena because of all the ages that are attracted to it. So it's just, um, I, I just, I can't, I can't even tell you how exciting. Of course, you always have that expectation that you're going to deliver the best of the best and you're going to pack mm -hmm. the house. But when it actually comes to fruition, you do have to somewhat pinch yourself and say, wow, we did it. And it's an amazing team that did it and worked tirelessly to produce it. And then I have to give a shout out to the ticket. I mean, your support and you guys putting this on the airways home and away is just unbelievable. It's just been number one, a blast to travel with you and, and DP and, and Renee Saunders as well. And, and you've put out a great product, you know, just showcasing us over the airways. So it's, it's partners like you that made this all come to fruition. Thank you so much, Diane. Speaking of that, Make sure that you guys listen into the Supernovas Radio Network tomorrow as the Omaha Supernovas have another home match. Um, and uh, my question, you know, regarding the, the you know, radio side of it, let's go to the TV side of it. CBS Sports is going to be broadcasting those final two matches and a few other matches. Uh, I think the Supernovas are on three times uh, for this last half of the season on CBS Sports. How amazing is it that, you get that the the pro volleyball federation was able to get a major network to kind of sign on for at least the last half of the season to showcase professional volleyball in the United States. You're exactly right. The major network is a major coup. And once again, too, with the speed of getting this to market, you are somewhat, you know, your hands are tied with TV and what they already have as far as, you know, scheduled for their broadcasting. So luckily CBS said, Hey, once March Madness is over, we're in for this. And that was a major, major acquisition by the league. And to have this, you know, you know, number one for us to beam back to Nebraska for people to watch us on the road. And, and then number two, just the opportunity that, you know, our match on April 26th, will be on CBS. It's at 8.30 start on a Friday night. And then the, the final three matches um, with the PBF championship will all be on CBS. And once again, for the sport and for women and for growing the league, for the opportunity to showcase what we have here in Omaha at the CHI, the fan experience and the, and the athlete experience will just catapult the league and, and just the opportunity that will probably bring other networks um, to the table and hopefully result in um, even better coverage next year. Well, Diane, we, we appreciate it so much, not only for you joining us, but also everything you've done in your efforts and your team's efforts, the organization's efforts and, and making uh, the pro volleyball federation and the supernovas as successful as they have been. Just 12 games in. We still got 12 more to go. We're still only halfway through the year. A lot of excitement is in, on the horizon. Uh, we appreciate you joining us today, and we'll definitely talk to you down the road. Well, wonderful. Thank you so much. We hope people come out Thursday and Saturday. There's still a few tickets available, and if they can't, make sure they listen to you all on the radio. There it is. Diane Mendenhall, the Omaha Supernovas president, joining us. We'll talk to you soon, Diane. Thanks. Bye. There she is. Uh, she joined us on the Aloe VIP line. VIP line, as always, brought to you by Aloe Fiber, where they understand the importance of exceptional service with a local heart. Once again, Diane Mendenhall, the president of the Omaha Supernovas. Really good stuff. Once again, just the crowds have been great. Uh, the, the response has been exciting. But we can't bury the lead of the news of the day that uh, Omaha, the CHI Health Center, are going to be the home of the semifinals and the finals. And obviously, with the champion, they get to take home a $1 million bonus. All that money going to, going to one team. There it is. Sure hope it's Omaha. Let's hope so, too. Hey, they're Ross sitting, retention, se right? they're sitting at second right now behind Atlanta. Same record, but that, Atlanta's that pesky got the, vibe. The, the darn vibe. But Atlanta's got a 2-1 uh, lead in the head-to-head -head mm -hmm. series. One more match between them down in Atlanta. Um, I think that's in about two, three weeks. Mm -hmm. um, so one more chance to, to get even with the Atlanta vibe is Omaha and Atlanta who were, picked, who were picked first and well, second in the preseason. I mean, 
they're sitting right there at the top. You know, it's kind of flip flop. Well, and it's all right. Oddly enough, Atlanta's won both the matches in in Omaha, and Omaha won the one match down in Atlanta. Yeah, so yeah but the one in, the one down in Atlanta was a sweep. There it so, is. So I'm is. just saying it was five. Which, it was five in the first match. Then a sweep down in Atlanta, and then four up in Omaha. So I'm just I'm just saying that uh, Omaha has has uh, they're, they're doing pretty well. I guess. It was it was a sweep, which by the way, if you don't know, doesn't happen very often in professional no, volleyball. It doesn't. How well? Pretty competitive. It doesn't. Except Atlanta. I think Atlanta has three sweeps, but two of them are against San Diego, who is mm-hmm. sitting currently in in last in the league. They did get a win over Vegas, though I believe. So okay. they have, they're at three wins. There you go. Once again, huge thanks and appreciation to Diane Mendenhall, Omaha Supernova's president, for joining us on the LVIP line. Let's take a break. We bring in Strick and Austin for the crossover and get you ready for On the Block when we return. Thanks to Empire Fence and Netting for their support of the program. As always, we'll be right back to close out Wednesday's show on 93.7 The Ticket. Download our app by searching 93.7 The Ticket in your app store to stay in touch and listen all day long wherever you are. More of the happy hour is next on 93.7 The Ticket and theticketfm.com. Tune in every Wednesday night from 9 to 10 p.m. for the Malone Radio Show on 93.7 The Ticket and theticketfm.com. Don't miss the opportunity to learn about the Malone Community Center's goal to eliminate multi-generational poverty in Lincoln and the surrounding area. It's the Malone Radio Show with Executive Director John Goodwin and Sports Director Mike Hunter. Every Wednesday night from 9 to 10 p.m. on 93.7 The Ticket and theticketfm.com. Rosie Sports Bar and Grill. Open for lunch and dinner at 1501 Center Park Road. Southeast Community College invites you to check out our spaces ahead of your official campus visit. Our virtual campus tours let you see our campuses and learn more about our programs of study. Then you can schedule your individual visit in person or virtually. Virtual tours of our campuses in Beatrice, Lincoln, or Milford, and our learning centers are online at southeast.edu slash visit SCC. SCC, your path to possible. Spring is a time of new beginnings and trying new things. If you haven't tried Fear's Cheese Spread yet, the time is now. For parties for St. Patrick's Day and Easter, or celebrating the NCAA tournament with friends, there's no better dip to bring everyone together and celebrate something from Nebraska. Get to your local grocery store today and load up on Fuhrer's Cheese Spread. No event or party is complete without it on your table. Ever wish you had another light switch on the other side of the room on a dark night? How much better would you sleep at night if you had a ceiling fan in your room? The High Electric Service Department is here to make your electrical what-ifs a reality. Whether you're looking to replace some outdated light fixtures or brighten up your counters with under-cabinet lighting, High Electric can handle all types of residential electrical installations and services. Give Erica a call at 402-466-6606 or visit high-electric.com to get started. Start your Sundays off right with Jeff and Nicole Essink on Fitness Fanatics. Jeff and Nicole discuss health and wellness, how to achieve fitness goals, and more through the life of gym owners and gym goers. It's Fitness Fanatics from 9 to 11 a.m. on Sundays on 93.7 The Ticket and theticketfm.com. This is Monster Jam. Witness Big Air, two-wheel skills, backflips, and all-out racing. It's the only place to see the world's best drivers tear up the dirt in your favorite Monster Jam trucks like Grave Digger, El Toro Loco, Megalodon, and more. It's big time fun for the whole family. Monster Jam, as big as it gets. This Friday and Saturday at Pinnacle Bank Arena, brought to you by Big 80 Tires, Great Clips, and the Original Super Glue. Rain, snow, or shine, John Henry's is here to keep your home's plumbing systems working properly no matter what kind of weather Nebraska throws at us. From unclogging toilets and drains to installing new water heaters and water treatment systems, John Henry's is your plumbing expert in the Lincoln and Omaha communities. Visit us at calljh.com or call John Henry's. 435-55-55 John Henry's Plumbing and Electrical 93.7 The Ticket is proud to provide listeners with daily opportunities to win contests and prizes on our airwaves and would like to take this opportunity to remind you of a couple rules All participants must be 20 or older and must wait 30 days after winning a prize before participating in another contest Once you win, you have 30 days to pick up your prize at the KNTK Studios 1040 O Street in Lincoln or your prize will be forfeited Thank you for participating in our contest, and thank you for listening to 93.7 The Ticket. 
A team succeeds when they work together. Banking's no different. At UBT, we're in your corner for every financial move you want to make. Your money's backed by a roster of experts who put in the work to know you and your community. So whether you're opening a savings account, buying a home, or planning your future, you always know who to turn to. Working together toward your financial goals, that's a win in our playbook. Union Bank and Trust, Equal Housing Lender Member FDIC. Early break with Sip and Jake. We do not go quietly in the night on early break. Um, we don't, and we won't. <laughs> Is that our motto now? Is that our show motto? Look at that! We let you have that moment. Yes. We won't. We won't. We, we don't. We, and, and we, we won't. won't. <laughs> we, I want but we don't go quietly in the That's night. We voice been. early break with Sip and Jake from 6 to 8 every weekday morning on 93.7 The Ticket. You're listening to The Happy Hour with Nick Sainert. This is a house of learned doctors. And Enrique Alvarez Cleary. As soon as your eyes shut, I'm going to punch you square in the face. On 93.7 The Ticket and theticketfm.com. We're taking over. It's an it's, it's our takeover. show now. We're stealing it. Look at us. We're taking here. it right away from the happy hour. It is an on the block happy hour. No, no, put my foot in the door. Stay out. It's our we show don't now. Want you our show here. now. We're taking over. <laughs> well, but it's all good. Tricky Nikki and Rico are in the building. But wow. it's too late. We didn't take wow. it over. We well, I guess had- it's their show now. I'll be honest. I was just having guess, a, I was guess, guess who, a little. Guess who was on time? I was a little pseudo meeting there. <laughs> I was having a little business meeting. I station. was not. <laughs> Rigo was not. It's We're supposed here, to though. be happy hour. It's supposed to be beer, I, wine, I, I know what it's, meal. I know what it's supposed <clears throat> to be. Yeah, it's happy hour. And here we are. We should get a beer from the mill. We should get a beer yeah. from the mill. People, we can get a beer from the mill. We can get a beer from the mill, and it's delicious. <laughs> Absolutely, it's good. they got the they got the the one on tap that's that's exclusive to our de- our ticket mill location. Mm-hmm. It's good. Oh yeah, it's I good. was not expecting to like it when they brought it in because yeah. I'm still not like the biggest beer guy. But yeah. like, what what, it would hit. You, what would you it say so you are? I don't know, because I like, don't see you as like a liquor guy. No, I'm not. I can like, see I can see Austin as as sipping on just. Sip it on something. I, I can I can, sip I, it I can have, have yeah. sip it I, I can something. have about anything, but I wouldn't say that like my personality is the whiskey guy he's or certainly like, not a like a margarita guy. guy. No. You want to be a rum guy with me? Eh, rum big, okay. big rum Rum's guy. Okay. Hey, what I, I, what say... I want to be is a Jack and Coke guy, except I've just never gotten the right ratio. Hey, let me tell you, man. I I got you. You got me. <laughs> that, that's all. That's all I. Jack, okay. Jack and Coke. I, I, don't, is, I don't do the Jack. That's my. I, that's my go to. Mine's. I sit there with a thing of Crown. You didn't throw me on uh, as a crown guy. I I would have never I said can, crown. You know what you, you gotta I do? I cannot get enough. Well, I mean, I can. <laughs> but, <laughs> do, do you do regular crown or crown apple or crown peach? Which one? So it, it depends. It depends. It, I if I'm with a certain group of friends, I'll have crown apple and diet coke. Right. Mm-hmm. We have a certain name for the drink that I can't say on air. Crown apple and diet coke. Incredible. If, if it's just if it's just me. Like if I were to go to my house or my place and like open up my my cabinet that I have it in, I, I probably have like probably have the the normal obviously crown crown and and uh, sprite tastes a little bit like cream soda crown mm. crown Ooh. apple okay crown apple or that. crown peach and sprite if you haven't tried it try it yeah it's um like I, I probably have uh, so my my girlfriend's family just got the crown blackberry for me oh wow. And I've heard I have, of that. I have, not, heard I have that not cracked it open. It's like a new one that they just okay, released. When you cracked it open, let me know. I'm have you over. guys oh. ever had an Incredible Hulk? Yes. Never. You have? Yes. I went to Carney, dude. I've okay. had any, any, any drink you can name. Kids I've drunk with Hennessy? Yeah. Gosh, Hennessy? Hennessy? Sickens me. And Hypnotic. <laughs> yep. If you've never had Hypnotic. Sparkly. Whew. Hennessy and Hypnotic is called... Incredible Incredible Hulk. Hulk. Drop your favorite drinks on the text line. Four, can, can I drop four, my least favorite? It, yeah. Yeah. One second. Four, six, four, five, six, eight, five. Drop your favorite drinks on the text line. If you're just a normal Bush guy, that's f- Bush guy that's or gal. Okay. Hey, that's, that's okay. totally fine. Yeah. If you're a, if you're a, a soft softy and you just like, you know, uh, sex is on the beach. You know, there it is. 
Yeah, it's That's, okay. That, it's okay. That was, that was big. That was a big drink that uh, Tommy, my bartender in Mexico, brought me. Yeah, mm. it was that, and then it was also like these drinks called Blue Coral, but it was fine. Okay, but love it. I, I I just let us know. Um, okay, Ham and Bean says whiskey water. I can't get behind no. the whole whiskey and water. No. I, I tried mm-hmm. vodka water that people. I can't. No, nope. can't do it. Can't do it either. So mm-hmm. yeah, yeah, I know. I, if if I I'm not a big like I, I don't enjoy exactly. vodka. Awesome. Guy. Tito's baby, come on, let's go. I don't enjoy a lot of, of vodkas. Kevin brought in the vodka yeah. Sunny D's. Delicious. And, oh my good. gosh, they, they are, are incredible. They are. Okay. They're my my younger brother's vodka favorite. Sunny Delight. Right? Or is just it, Sunny yeah. D. Yeah, it's, Sunny it's, D. It's, it's Sunny D vo- that, yeah. without alcohol. Really? Back in the back in the day, hmm. uh, back when Kevin, Ryan back when Ryan Tab used to work here. Mm-hmm. Uh, shout out to Ryan Tab. Um, we were doing Thirsty Thursday, and Kevin brought in like a PBR like coffee beer. Yes. And Tab loved it. He was a big <laughs> beer guy. Loved it. It was pretty good. It was pretty tasty. <laughs> so we obviously know Nathan Brennan. Yes. Um, hey, no. <laughs> Shout out to Nate Dog. Hey, Nate. Nate's Nate's got Nate's, some exciting things down the road. Nate's a weird dude. Nate's Nate, doing Nate's, big thing. Nate. Well, no, no. Nate's got in his personal life. He's got some exciting things down the road. Yeah, they uh, got a dog. They did get a dog. Um. Wow. I have. So anyway, Nate. Back to this point. I I saw a, a drink that I've. I that, can't believe somebody mentioned the top one. The top one. Yeah. I, it delicious. Never had it. Wait, I, I'll tell you, I'll say it. I'll say it here okay. in a second. Now, um, Nate all got me on the the sh- Red Bull vodka, the vodka Red Bulls. <sighs> those are those are a game changer. But sugar free Red Bull. No, don't be a wimp. My wife went to Scottsdale for a bachelorette party, and I think over the weekend she had three vodka Red Bulls, and they cost her eighty five bucks. Yeah, I'm not saying they're 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 good. It, it's, it's ridiculous. They're Here's expensive. Why? If if you were to, why? if you're to ever go golf with AD and Raf, they will. They all their drink on the course is vodka Red Bull. Oh, I do play golf with Raph. That's all it is. Yeah, it's vodka Red Bull every single and time. And cigars. Yep. yep. Is Raph a good golfer? Uh, he's fine. He's, okay. he's fine. He is a golfer. I, he, I mean, he like, does golf. <laughs> he sh- like he he can be really good. I I would say this. I'm more surprised when you see AD swing. That he's a good golfer. Yeah, it, lo- it doesn't look like, it's, like a Charles right. Barkley. Swing? That man, no, that man that. swings so fast yeah. that I'm not sure how he hits the ball. He what do you mean? Like he takes it back slowly. <laughs> no, yes. no, it's it's who? <laughs> yes, yeah, just like, straight up and down, <laughs> just really quick, and he can hit the crap out of the ball. <laughs> um, okay, so we got we got to get to the text line 402-464-5685. Um, somebody says I give up a big Rumpelman's vibe. <laughs> no, absolutely not. Uh, no, I don't even vodka that. and fresh lemonade. Big says Bank Andy. Hank says vodka, fresh lemonade. Um, we're not gonna say not chicken, Eric. I don't think you're being realistic here. That's a necessary drink for when you turn 21. The three wise men, but never you again. Ever, after you ever that. had a three wise men? No, I, I don't even know what it is. Jack, Jim, and Jose mixed together. Jose Cuervo? Yes. No, negative. It, it is. is. It, is. It, is. Hey, it, it is. tells me no. It is not mm. great. No. Hey, hey, but I know exactly who this is. Not not Chicken Eric was in my golf league a couple of years ago. And uh, yes, that, that bottle that uh, he, he brought in some corn liquor. Ooh. And it was pretty intense. Ooh. It was pretty intense. I'm not going to lie. But not Chicken Eric. Hope you're doing well, man. Uh, earthquake earthquake glue says white russians and gin and tonics are my go-to okay um so big, big ty says vodka red bull and vodka cranberry so big ty big vodka big guy vodka guy uh byron the hog farmer vodka sprite vodka red bull sugar free to start the night don't do that we might be don't start in, don't start right. your night don't sugar free uh, start your night with a with a with a full balanced red bull and vodka <laughs> full and you're and you're and you're nice <laughs> you're having a great night so uh, somebody says, listening from sunny Pensacola. What day is it, Professor Rick? It's a Wednesday. <laughs> it's a Wednesday. Um, let's see. Here we go. Okay, so this is, Wednesday. This is what I was surprised yes. with. We've had a couple of people talking about Chuck Norris's. Have you ever had a Chuck Norris? Don't even know what it is. So it's it's normally a a, a shot, right? Chuck mm-hmm. Norris shot. But if you go to places in Lincoln, I know a couple of places. No free shout outs. You know the rules though. <laughs> Um, that they can make it in a drink, mm-hmm. and it is very good. So seven eight five five says Chuck Norris equal parts cherry McGillicuddy's, um, and there's something else in it. But then there's also it's called Liquid Ice Energy, and it's an energy mm-hmm. drink. And so it's it's McGill cherry McGillicuddy's and the energy drink. Cherry McGillicuddy's. I don't even know what very that is. Very good. 
very, very good. You know McGillicuddy? No. So, All anyway. Right, um, no, back to Austin, though, specifically. I, I, I don't see him as, like, a whiskey or a bourbon guy. He's not a scotch guy. Austin could be a scotch guy. I don't think so. Austin could be a scotch guy. I can see uh, that. I don't think so. Maybe down the road? Maybe. I, see you as I don't a know. Maybe. Maybe. I, I think... I, I also don't see him as like a seltzer guy. Seltzers no, are the worst. He's 100% not a seltzer. Seltzer, not a seltzer no. guy. He, he, he doesn't he, give can, off can, can I be vibes. like a Mike's Hard Lemonade guy? <laughs> no, no. I think it's just like a Bush Light. I look at him and I see Bush Light. Mm. Oh, wow. He's calling you basic, man. That's yeah, basic? I, I, just, I see him more than Modelo. I mean, Dos equis. I don't see cool. him as like a... a Dos equis. Maybe. I, I don't see him as like somebody that's going to get a craft beer. No, I'm a whatever Kevin Myers bringing in guy. Like I I'm just see, not. I don't see I don't Austin. You a wine ordering, guy ordering a Guinness? Wine's fine. Had a glass of wine on the trip. So he'd be a wine guy. Maybe yeah, a little wine guy, not a big yeah. wine guy. Yeah, it's tricky. What's your go-to? Tito's. If I'm not, you know, I'm wine. Deep yeah. red. I'm big wine, wine guy. Deep big red. red. Are you an Italian uh, big red? red. Uh, I like Italian red. I like yeah, Argentinian I, red. Italian red. Mm. Um, I like. Uh, I, I, I'm really a Pinot. Then I'll probably go to a Malbec, and then I'll do a Merlot, and wow. then, I, then I'm kind of a cab. How about that? That's kind of down the road. Look at this guy. He knows it all. But how often do you buy a bottle of wine? Um, like whenever he can. <laughs> yeah, it's it's pretty regular. Now my my go to my yeah. everyday is like a Miomi. I was saying. Miomi. So do you have like a collection at home? I have some. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Nice. Where do you live? whoever five three four eight is they said they make their own rum um what please bring it by the station isn't that illegal i don't think so maybe i'm thinking moonshine that's definitely moonshine, okay, yeah, moonshine yeah, yeah. is definitely moonshine. illegal yeah don't be don't i think be, you can make your own rum or, earthquake, or other alcohol earthquake glue says seltzers taste like static television um, <laughs> that is an incredible description. Like my thing with seltzer, that's what is I, I like wish Lacroix tastes like. Lacroix sucks. Spar- sparkling water <laughs> yes, sucks. Seltzer yes, sucks. Yes, they yes. need to be sweeter. I need okay. the I need the kick of sweetness, but instead it's just like you know what it is. It's flat and no flavor and just like wow weird. I just need the it's, sweetness. They took, they took one of the little seeds out of a strawberry and they dropped it in. They said Something strawberry like flavor. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> shook it up. Yeah. yeah. Okay, Austin, you were gonna say your least favorite. Yeah, seltzer. We hit it. Okay, nice. Yeah. Good. You nailed it. Good. Oh, moonshine um, is not illegal to make. It is illegal to sell. Oh, okay. Gotcha. Thank you. That's good to know. Okay. That's good to know. I'm not going to make it. Another thing I thought I would like more than I really done is an old Earth, Earthquake glue goes, I have no idea how my wife drinks that bleep. <laughs> <laughs> hey, but the good impo- the important thing, Earthquake glue, is that you buy it for her. Yeah. There you go. That's the important thing. Uh, what were you saying? Oh, I'm still looking for the best old fashioned. Like, that's another thing I thought I would have liked more. Mm. But it's just like kind of like, yeah, I've just been kind of underwhelmed by the ones I've had, so I'm still looking for like the best old fashioned. Yeah, I got you. Tricky, hmm. not well, wine. What's your what's your least favorite drink? Uh, regular. I mean, tequila from you know, America. America. Yeah, like the, I, 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 I will 100 admit, I got some from yes. Mexico. Yes, and I, st- I had some last night. I fact. can't. There it and is. It was I, perfect. Oh I was like, my gosh! Guys, love it. You yeah. keep saying that, but I like. I obviously haven't had any tequila from Mexico because I can't do I can't do tequila. If if my first drink when we go out is tequila, I'm done. I'm not I'm not drinking anymore my first legal because drink. the because the taste just just sits in my mouth and I hate it. I can't do well, it. Well, it's champagne next because I do like it, but it gives me a headache. So that's why yeah. I'm kind of. Uh, but then I move into the cognacs. And then I'll go into the vodka. I, I haven't found a I don't care. I, I, haven't, I haven't found a beverage that gives me a headache like you're talking about right obviously like if you indulge in too much right yes but like the the instantly like with my dad it's like Coors Light like gives him a headache he can drink any other beer he'll drink any other beers it's like Coors Light just gives him a little bit of a headache yeah. and so like with you it's champagne, champagne. right I, I haven't found that yet well, I'm not. I'm not saying I'm. In, I'm not. We're trying, gonna, I'm not you're trying, still you're still still the next year. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We're, we're gonna, gonna find, find it. Yeah, let's find out. What, Down at the but, uh, hey, Haymarket. Your, what to alcohol point, gives Nick a headache next <laughs> football season? <laughs> to, to your point, um, the I had brown tequila, and in down in Mexico this January, way and better for a brown agave plant. Way yes. better. No, way, it's just it's just aged longer. It, well, it's it's way and it's like a lot of the ones here they're like they're colored. Yeah, like they're made clear. Like they're made to look clear, 
And so, anyway, like the Jose Cuero. Yeah, I can't do that. Can't do this it. stuff's potent. It's point and potent. So what's Hard coming? Up, what's coming up on the show today, gentlemen? We were not going to talk about this, but what's coming oh, up on the okay. show? Um, uh, it is the happy hour. Thursday, it Thursday is. is on the way. Yeah. Uh, tomorrow, in fact, uh, yes. Kevin Meyer is in the building. He confirmed. So <laughs> Kevin's on his way tomorrow. <laughs> Ask him about his trip. <laughs> Man, the, the trip that he was just on Ooh. is fantastic. Um, to answer your question, though, spring football headlines. Evan Bland, uh, the Chalky Sweet 16. We'll have Diane Mendenhall back on the show. And uh, Coach Calipari, back to UK, but how hot is his seat? Here's something else for you guys to talk about. It's just been confirmed uh, that Frankie Fiddler is going to be on a visit to Nebraska tomorrow. <laughs> so there you go. There oh, it is. Oh, With Patrick transfer. McCaffrey? If they want to land him, they need to have Stricky around. No, I'm just playing. <laughs> but, I'm also, just but, playing. Also, but also not. Jokes. Pause. But also not. Yeah. Nonetheless. Uh, all right. Well, that'll do it for us. Appreciate Diane Mendenhall having coming on the show at 1.30. You can check uh, it out again as well at 3 o'clock. Are and, your brackets uh, bo- broken? I want to know. She she comes on on the block later today as well. Appreciate you guys. Thanks to Jay for hanging out. Thanks to you, boys. We'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Adios. This is Lincoln's home for sports talk on the FM dial. Also online at theticketfm.com. On the internet. KNTK FM first.